Hey Red Raiders! In today's video, we're going to be talking about online versus in-person classes, as this is two different class options you have here at Texas Tech. So let's just get on with the video. Whoop! about online classes so online classes are super flexible and I enjoy taking them I have taken one since my first semester in 2020 to now in 2023 for online classes all you need is your laptop and your login to blackboard if you have any questions about blackboard we just made a video so you should definitely go check it out I'll link it up at the top but on blackboard it's pretty much where it's got your assignments your tests your quizzes your syllabus your schedule getting in contact with your with your professor Literally everything and anything will be on Blackboard. Next for online classes, usually in my personal experience, the assignments will open Monday morning and they will be due either Saturday or Sunday of that week. So you have the full week to work on them. Don't procrastinate the work though guys because it's just as much work as an in-person class. So yes, you have all week and they basically, for most of mine, it's you just go every week. It's like week one, week two, week three, week four. You can take an online class pretty much anywhere. You can take it on your couch, you can take it in your bed, you can take it at your favorite restaurant, you can take it at school and you're waiting before your in-person class. You can take it literally anywhere. All you need is your laptop. I personally enjoy taking online classes just because my schedule sometimes can be all over the place and I can just take it at 6 a.m. in the morning when I'm up. So that is my information about online classes. Um, most of the time, online classes do fill up quicker when it comes to registration. It just it kind of depends on the course and the class and all that. So that sums up online classes and now let's get into in-person classes. So now we're gonna talk in-person classes. Um, in-person I think is very like simple, like, like you're in-person, like you're driving yourself to school or walking to class and sitting down, you know, going to class. But um, I think the biggest thing with in-person classes is that sometimes they don't use Blackboard as much. I've had a couple of professors where um, we just don't use Blackboard. We turn everything, just hand it in. They don't upload their slides. You just take the notes while you're in class. Um, it just kind of, it depends on the course, depends on the professor. Next for in-person classes, I've noticed that as I've gotten older, I share a lot of classes with the same people. So you make friends, you get to meet other students on campus and just kind of like like as you get older like you'll have the same people in your marketing classes or in your engineering classes whatever those upper level courses are so that's just something else to keep in mind lastly in person it's just the experience of being in, like in a college class i've sat in lecture rooms with 300 something people and i've also sat in rooms with 30 people like it's just it's part of the experience <laughs> um i love it i think it's it's fun to see it all filled. Like it's just, you know, it's like it's what you see in the movies and the TV shows and you know, all that fun stuff. But in-person classes, like I said before with online, it's just as much work. Um, in-person is just in-person and you just, you get to build that connection with a professor a lot easier and you kinda, I've learned that I understand things more with in-person classes just cause I'm very much like a hands-on visual type learner more than watching a video at like two speeds. So yes, I do prefer in-person classes. But like I also said, some classes are just offered online and that's just what they are. So it just kind of depends. But yes, that wraps up in-person classes. So I hope this video helped y'all kind of understand the difference between online and in-person classes. And if you have any questions, you should definitely comment them down below. Let us know, we're here to help y'all. We're here to answer those questions. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. And yeah, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys.